eight players, seven of them are honest, one of them is a cheater. Will the honest players find the cheater and win the money? Or will the cheater take it all for themselves? Welcome to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. How dare you impugn my fever? Why didn't you listen to me? All I heard was sexy babysitter. And let's meet our team for tonight. Our eight players are Brian, Liz, Christine, Ian, Alec, Tom, Amanda, and MK. One of them is a cheater, and their goal is to find a cheater, vote them out of the game. If they do that, they will keep all their money. If they eliminate honest players, they will lose half of their bank. So play our first two questions. The cheater can make as much money as they like, as long as they don't get caught. First question of tonight's game. Name the 10 most dangerous things people do while driving, according to defense driving. Number one, the most dangerous, worth 50 cents. Down to number 10, worth $5. You'll have 30 seconds to talk about it as a team. You can say as much or as little as you like. And then we'll go to Brian for his answer. Go. Ian, go. <laughs> um, texting and driving, talking or calling and driving. Uh, putting on makeup, doing hairspray, brushing your teeth, uh, Drink. eating food, drinking Drink something, especially like a hot coffee, having cigarettes or cigars, uh, playing on your laptop, what? Uh, eating soup in particular. <laughs> um, what? I've seen it. What? <laughs> oh, God. Is, you didn't even mention a train chicken. <laughs> For those, for those wondering, Ian has, in fact, taught driving in the past, so he will know all of these, I imagine, has had them all happen. Brian, <laughs> you're first. I think I'll go with following too close. Number one, tailgating. Very good. 50 cents. Oh. <laughs> Liz. Um, sudden unexpected stops. Sudden unexpected stops. Or breaking too hard, or... Yeah. Now that is actually not on the board, believe it or not. No. Wow. Well, yeah. it's really bad though. I, I would agree. That's that's really <laughs> just as dangerous as the other things on here. Yeah. Christine. Huh. Um texting while driving. Yeah, texting is there. Number three. Number three, one fifty, texting. Ian. So I just sort of assumed these were all like distracted driving type things, not just like general danger. Um, I'll just say speeding then. Number five, speeding, 250. Eating soup wasn't your answer? <laughs> no, not for now. <laughs> it was between speeding or eating soup. And you... <laughs> Speed eating soup. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Is there any particular type of soup that is most... I imagine hot soup and not yeah. like a gazpacho. I you think speed, it's it's speed soup, methamphetamine game. soup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> methamphetamine oh, my God. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Alec. Uh, drinking, drinking alcohol. That's number ten. It should be number one. Maybe it goes what? saying That's drinking alcohol. Wow. Not, not playing a game show while driving. That's not out there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know that yet. We're not through For the, the Tom. <laughs> okay, this this actually happened in Louisville and caused a rather horrific accident. Uh, but watching a you know, video on your phone. In this case, it was actually a porn video. Nice. Oh, wow. It wasn't the movie Crash, was it? It was oh, not. God. No, that... uh, watching watching porn or watching anything on your phone is not there, no. Amanda? Um, distractions by small people in, or drunk people in the backseat. Kids in the back seat. That no, feels sorry, targeted. Does not make the board. No, no. Well, MK. young people are a lot like small people. And <laughs> you're crawling up them. Um, shoot, I I'm gonna say being distracted slash not really paying attention. 
Yeah, that that's going to fall under a general distraction of rubbernecking, which is checking out other things on the road, not paying attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 450. Is, is that not a failure to signal? Yeah. yeah. I'm talking on the phone. Getting angry. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Eating, which no one actually said. I hope this last one is sleeping. I hope this last one is sleeping, like, hope last one is sleeping while driving. Been... Mm -hmm. Putting yeah, putting, putting on, on makeup. makeup. I forgot about that too. Yeah, yeah well, they you didn't have, they didn't have hair, but yeah, makeup. The number six is usually. I really, I really think sleeping should have been on that list. I think somewhere. sleeping yeah. goes without saying. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> don't, you would don't never sleep you... while driving. You would never. You won't be doing either for long. Although I do remember there was this case because of the. Self-driving cars. There was someone who looks like they were asleep on the wheel. They just had their hands on the wheel so it wouldn't stop on its own. Yep. And no. the police were just chasing after, it. and of course he didn't know because he was asleep. <laughs> oh yeah, sure he was. Yeah. <laughs> Name the Steven Spielberg film by the location of its climax: Pirate Ship in Neverland, The Orca, Devil's Tower, Wyoming, Doc's General Store, An Island in the Aegean Sea. Ramel, France, the United States Capitol, Port of San Diego, a treasure room in Castle Anorak, and a stadium near Nantau, China. 30 seconds, then we'll go to Liz. Go. Number one is Hook. Number two is Jaws. Number three is Close Encounters. Um, don't know what number four is. Is six like Schindler's List or something? Or Warhorse? I don't know. Time. Okay. Liz, you're first. Suddenly blanking on all my Spielberg movies. <laughs> so I'm unfortunately just going to go earn one dollar and say Hook. Hook is number one. Very good. One dollar. Christine. Um, number eight is the Lost World. Lost World, Jurassic Park. Yeah, the dinosaurs get to San Diego. Yeah, very sure. good. Yeah, <laughs> Ian. That was the only one that I kind of thought I knew. Um, dang. I know you've seen a couple of these. No, I know. I know. I have too. Like Castle Anorak. Sounds so familiar too. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna take a wild stab and say that four is Back to the Future three. He did not direct Back to the Future three or any of them. No, so well, he should have. They, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe the third. And there's one. not. And Doc does not run a general store. But beyond that, good guess. Alex. I thought he did in the third one. That's why I was thinking that. Oh, no, no. no. Just had them there. Uh, number two is Jaws. Yes, the orca is the boat in Jaws. Very good. Tom. Okay, I think I know six, but I'm going to go safe and say uh, uh, the $3 answer is Close Encounters. Yep, Close Encounters is the third kind in Devil's Tower, Wyoming. Amanda. Number nine is Ready Player One. Very good. Ready Player One. Oh, God. <laughs> Which all of us, including Steven Spielberg, would like to forget that Steven Spielberg directed. Oh, MK. I kind, I kind of liked it. It's, I like the book better, and I know everybody else hates it all, but I like it. <laughs> um, Is number six? This is probably wrong, but the only thing I have is the Da Vinci Code. Not the Da Vinci Code, no, he didn't direct that. And Brian. All right, the only ones I knew were 9 and 10, and 10 is Empire of the Sun. Very good, it is Empire of the Sun. Wow, good round. Got all three top answers. All right, Doc's general store mm -hmm. is West Side Story. Oh, I had to stay yeah. quiet during oh, this round. No, As just an audience member, I had to stay quiet, but I just uh, finished island, reading Ready Player Two. Is where they opened Readers the of the Lost Star. Yeah, they opened the Ark of the Covenant yeah. in the island. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't, uh, I just couldn't remember which one, so I didn't want to guess. Anyone know number six? Mm -mm. 
location of the final battle in Saving Private Ryan. Oh, okay. And then United States Capitol is where they <laughs> cast the vote for the 13th Amendment in Lincoln. In the bank, you end around one, $47. Here are your totals. Who do you want to accuse? Talk it out. Amanda's a cheater. Alec is the cheater. <laughs> Tag, you're it. No tag. I'm not. I don't even have to send my vote over. I'm not going to send send none of my votes over. <laughs> Alec already said that he was going to call me the cheater just because he was mad I kicked him out last time because he called me the cheater. So if I <laughs> am the cheater, I would kick him out anyway. <laughs> Weren't you the cheater last time? Yeah, I had to kick somebody out of me and I could have kicked somebody else out, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know why not have a little fun while you're doing your work <laughs> mm -hmm. Amanda would you like to accuse somebody I don't know who it is so I don't have anybody to accuse it is not me I know Ernest Klein and I know that book and movie. you knew him so well you'd know he prefers to be called Ernie <laughs> I've also read the second book Oh, God, I couldn't do it. In Armada. <laughs> Ready your player one? Yeah. Ready player two. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone oh. want to add anything before we vote? Okay. I need the eight of you to please lock in your votes. Who you think the cheater is? Cheater, obviously, don't vote for yourself. All right. First vote has been cast. Time to see if we have caught the cheater out of the gate. If you're keeping the whole $47. Are eight of you. We're going to start with Brian. Who do you think the cheater is, Brian? I voted for Christine. One for Christine. Liz. Uh, completely randomly, I said Tom. Okay. Christine, who'd you say? Alec. All right. Ian? Uh, I also said Alec. That's two for Alec. Alec? Ian. One for Ian. After you're accusing Amanda. Tom, <laughs> who'd you say? Yeah, have to get it out of the way early. I voted for Ian. <laughs> two for Ian, two for Alec. Amanda? I went with the lowest score, so I said Liz. Fair enough. All right, so it all comes down to MK's vote. MK, who'd you say? Oh, I feel so bad. I said Ian because he should have gotten higher on driving. Three <laughs> for Ian pretty high. out of the game. He said <laughs> soup. <laughs> <laughs> Which would have been up to Tom it. said he wanted to get his vote for Ian out of the way early, and apparently you just got Ian out of the way early. Ian, wow. moment of truth, we have to know. Were you the cheater? I was the cheater two times in a row. So it wasn't gonna happen again this week. I was not the cheater. He was not the cheater. I'm sorry, you lose half your bank. 2350 stays in there. Dun, the cheater dun, stays dun. in the game. Yeah. We'll be right back on live cheat and steal. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. One honest player voted out of the game. Seven players left in the game. Talk about your rollover here. If at any point you don't know an answer or you want to pass your turn to another player, use your rollover, pass your turn to them. The R under your name, you can use that once over the course of the game here. Next question. In the 10 guaranteed ways to ruin a family reunion, according to how stuff works. 30 seconds to talk about it, then we'll go to Christine. Go. Throw up at the bris. <laughs> Date one uh, of the other people that's already supposed to be there. <laughs> um, arrive with someone's ex-husband. <laughs> Family secrets. Don't bring it. Just, 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 just a the blanket. concept. <laughs> uh, forget that somebody's dead and ask about them. I don't know. Ask if someone's pregnant. I have family who's done that, don't you? That's not yeah, as well. That, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Christine, you're first. What ruins oh. a family reunion for you? Me showing up. No, um. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so hard. I originally thought of like showing up with, um, with an ex or someone else's ex. Is that what you're going with? Yeah. Bring someone else's ex. Um, no, sorry, that doesn't make the board. Alec. Um, 
asking weird questions or uncomfortable questions to somebody else? Hmm, uncomfortable questions. Yeah, number five, ask pointed uncomfortable questions. Very good. Which is my goal every week on this show. Tom. Um, arguing about politics. Very good. Number three, bring up politics. Not even arguing, just bringing them up at all. Amanda. Bringing up old, old fights, old drama. Yeah, bring up old resentments or fights, 50 cents. MK. Um, I guess kissing or dating a relative. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would. It depends what state. I don't know why I'm looking. I need to check if that's on the board. No, I'm sorry. Meanwhile, Just... at the Giuliani family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on the board is what I'm saying. Brian. Outing the closeted gays in your family? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Um, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count that as still family secrets. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Fair enough. Liz. Um, I'll just I'll just go with getting too drunk. Yeah, drink a lot. Drink not Who enough. <laughs> <laughs> Got the first five, missed the next five, see what made the board. Ask for money. Complaining about food. <laughs> Let the button pushers push your buttons. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Accidentally make everyone sick. Oh, sure. Intentionally <laughs> make Only everyone sick. Only if it's accidentally. Don't plan ahead and plan eat ahead. all the pie. Plan eat ahead to make everyone pie. sick. Eat all the pie. Don't eat all, all the pie. If you eat all the pie, then you're not going to get your germs on it and yeah. give them to everyone else. So they all tie together. They right. cancel out. <laughs> Moving on, because everyone loves a spelling meat. round. It's so funny. Spell the names of these Disney characters. You're going to have 30 seconds to talk about it. Then we'll go to Alec for his spelling. You have to be exact, obviously. Go. I know all the characters. I can't spell worse shit. Okay, uh, tell me the name of the characters. Yeah, yeah Eeyore, I'm... Gaston, Yzma, Dr. Facelier, Maleficent, Geppetto, G-E-P-E-T-T-O, -G -E I believe. Number seven is Archimedes. Number eight is Chernobog. Number nine is Drizella. Number 10 is Elowen. Number one was guest on. Number two was Eeyore. Number three was Yzma. Number four is Geppetto. Number five is Maleficent. Number five is Dr. Prasad. All right. So you know the names of all of them. Can you spell them? Alec, you're first. Is Professor Professor Owl, ain't he the blue owl, by the way? Is that the blue one? Does anybody know that? Professor Al is not one of these characters. He's the no, host of the sing no, songs. No, 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 no. I was just wondering if, because I know Archimedes, he's in the thing with the Professor Al, I think. I could be wrong. But uh, number seven is A-R-C-H-I-M-E-D-E-S. Archimedes, you got it. Very good. $7. He was in the sword and the stone. Yeah, he was in the sword and the stone with uh, Merlin and Arthur. Tom. Um, okay, uh, $5. M A L E F I C E N T. Maleficent. Very good. $5 for you, Tom. Amanda. Uh, number nine is Drizella, and it's D R I Z E L L A. I'm not spelling one Tremaine. Of, one of the uh, first name is fine. One of the stepsisters, Drizella. You got it right. One Z. Very good, Amanda. MK. I'm going for number six. D R F A C I L I E R. Doctor Facilier. Very good. Six dollars. MK. Brian. All right. I'm going at number four. I'm disagreeing with whoever spoke before. It is G E P P E T T O. Two T's, two P's. You got it, Geppetto. Liz. Yzma, my favorite. Um, y Z M A. 
Yzma is Y-Z-M-A. You got it. Why do we even have that lever? <laughs> and Christine. Perfect, Amanda. Um, Eeyore is E-E-Y-O-R-E. -E -E. That is correct. Two dollars. Everyone made some money on the spelling round. Good but, job. Before, before you start doing team. reveals, can I just uh, test my yeah. old god old god knowledge here and say Chernobog yes. is spelled C Z E R N O B O G. Uh, that is not the official Disney spelling of. I got it right. <laughs> Disney got it wrong. I got it right. Chernobog. All right, Gaston. Obviously, G A S T O N. Uh, what like number ten was Amanda? What was her name? Like Elowen, she's from the Black Cauldron. Black Cauldron. Ilanwi is her name, and it's Welsh, so good luck. E I L O N W Y. All right, in the bank at the end of that round. Sixty-seven dollars. Here are your totals. Talk it out. Who do you think the cheater is? Vote them out of the game and keep all your money. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> I just know French. Anyone want to accuse? Amanda's accused. Amanda again? Okay. <laughs> I was going to start sing. I was going to start singing. Who could it be now? But then I realized <laughs> you're putting this on YouTube. I don't want you to get a copyright strike. How I thought he was going to accuse me every round for voting them out last time. I don't understand how Liz hasn't accused me yet. I'm biding my time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, usually, I usually might vote for Liz. <clears throat> sure. It's not the first time. Do you want to defend yourself, Liz, I guess? I've uh, never, I've, I've it's never part of the you. lore now. Anyone want to add anything before we vote? Need the seven of you to please lock in your votes. <laughs> votes are in. Let's see if you have caught the cheater. We're going to start with MK. Oh, I said Brian because he was looking kind of sleepy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> One for Brian. Amanda. I would say the same thing, but I went with the low score again, so it was Christine this round. Okay, one Brian, one Christine. Tom? I voted for Alec. Okay, Alec? Christine? Two for Christine. Christine, who'd you say? Alec. Two for Alec, Liz. I said Brian because he told me to. <laughs> two Brian, two Alec, two Christine. It all comes down to Brian's vote. Brian, who'd you say? I voted for MK. It does not oh. come down to Brian's vote. We have a tie. <laughs> oh my God. We lost half your money, and <laughs> anyone can be eliminated. I need all seven of you to please send me the name of the player you want to send home. <laughs> Cheater, only your vote counts. I click your name and it turns green. You are safe. On to the next round. If it's red, you are the freaking player eliminated from the game. Tom, you are safe. Amanda, you're safe. Liz. Liz, I'm sorry the cheater has chosen you. We know you weren't the cheater. Hopefully you can come back at the end and earn some money. Down to just six players. Cheater's still in the game. We'll be right back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Six players left in the game. Time for our answer board. There are 20 potential answers that will show up on the board. Ten to fit the category under correct. Ten are wrong. Tonight's question is, which of these are actual Wikipedia pages? Emu War, Chewbacca Defense, List of Deaths by Donut, List of Sexually Active Popes, <laughs> Pictures of Men Without Hats Wearing Hats, Suggested Names of Noah's Wife, Eunuch Poker, Swedish Fish Hung Jury, List of Cities Claimed to Be Built on Seven Hills. List of crimes inspired by Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. <laughs> lawsuits against God, lawsuits against the devil. List of books that were never written. <laughs> Bowling Green Massacre, Hot Dog Philosophy, Chicken Powered Nuclear Bomb, <laughs> Movies Turned Down by Kevin Klein, List of <laughs> Potato Museums, 
list of people who claim to be Elvis and these nuts. <laughs> Gonna have 30 seconds to talk about it. Ten of these are in fact real. Go. I'm guessing the hot dog philosophy is like is it or isn't it a sandwich? And then the emu war was a real thing that happened in Australia. I feel like the lawsuits are real. <laughs> yeah. And people bring stupid lawsuits. I feel like the Pope's is real. And the men without hats wearing hats feels real. I want it to be. All right. That's too. time. Tom, you're first. I'm going to say that there is a Wikipedia page uh, with a list of cities claimed to be built on seven hills. List of cities claimed to be built on seven hills. Yeah, that is real. It is more than just Rome, apparently. Yeah. Three and I was at two of them last week. Oh, wow. Cincinnati Amanda. and Nashville. Nice. That's 14 hills. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda. The list of sexually active popes. List of sexually active popes. Yeah, very good. 350. I've heard of the Borgias. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that okay. all of them? Um, <laughs> I have read that Wikipedia page. Okay. Well, I know the real one, but I'm going to go for the fun one. I'm going to say hot dog philosophy. I want it. Hot dog philosophy. Now I made that up. Oh. No. Brian. These nuts. <laughs> These nuts is correct. One dollar. Dang, I was gonna say. Political candidate. These nuts. There are men <laughs> on the internet. So of course it's real. Of course it's real. I'm going to say lawsuits against the devil lawsuits against the devil yeah it's real people have filed them 250 and, and alec oh emu war emu war yeah i believe with mk said it that's right it was fought in australia Over the other ones here now as uh, we all chewbacca. know the chewbacca defense was uh off of south park yeah that's real uh let's see we have the bowling green massacre which is a famous not real event uh, there are three more here that are right. There are also lawsuits against God. Uh, there was, in fact, a chicken power nuclear bomb. And in one more of these every, is correct. Every, every morning after I eat spicy chicken. Anyone? Potato museum. Oh, it is list of potato museums. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. That was my turn. <laughs> the only crime inspired by Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy, was Anchorman 2. <laughs> all right sadly there is not an article about men without hats wearing hats but that's because wikipedia they don't wear hats page, yes their wikipedia page does have the lead singer wearing a hat son of a bitch <laughs> he lied to me he lied Moving to us on. all name the 10 most populous u.s cities without an nfl mlb nhl or nba team 30 seconds to talk and then we'll go to amanda go uh austin there's a good one uh louisville has to be on there mm -hmm. um oh man uh, whatever whatever the biggest city in connecticut maybe hartford maybe uh, Richmond, could have made the Richmond. question named the 10 most sexually active popes, but uh, let's see. Amanda, <laughs> you're first. Austin. That is number one, Austin, Texas. Thank MK. You. Richmond? Richmond is a good guess, but it just misses the top 10. I'm sorry. Brian. Let's try Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, very good. Number four, Louisville, Kentucky. Christine? How about Columbus? I don't know. Columbus, nope, does not make the board. I think they have 
Is it hockey? They have some. Oh, I know it's got hockey. Yeah, yeah, they have all. Yeah, hockey. yeah. Well, Hartford, Connecticut, right? Hartford, Connecticut. No, does not make the board. And Tom. Let's see. Um, you know, I'm tempted to say Cincinnati, but the Bengals have actually gotten good. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they still count as a team. The, the Reds, the Reds bad. still don't count, but. Um, uh, Reds were the first MLB team. Um, doesn't really mean much until you get a second MLB team, though. I, I've always wondered how that worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is big enough to make it, but uh, Birmingham. Birmingham. I think that was another one that just missed the top 10, unfortunately. Tough question. Figured it would be. Anyone have any other guesses? Colorado Springs? That would be number 10. Colorado Springs, uh, Colorado. Honolulu? Fort Worth, El Paso, Albuquerque, Fresno, Tucson, Mesa, and Omaha. Omaha? Yep. Interesting. Yep. In the favorite. bank at the end of round three, 5250. Find the cheater and you will keep all of that. Here are your totals. Cheater's been cheating from the beginning. Who are you suspicious of? Miranda. Oh, again. <laughs> you know the drill now, Amanda. Defend yourself. Accuse Alec if you want. Alec has accused me twice, and I don't think he has voted for me either time. So I believe he's not actually accusing me. He just enjoys saying my name because but I don't know. It's fun to say. Because no one is around him. I guess so. But remember, friends, Alec's name comes first alphabetically. <laughs> That's how you guys are doing it, huh? Would anyone else like to add anything? Okay. I need the six of you to please lock in your votes. Votes are in. Time to see if you found the cheater. We're going to start with MK. I said Tom. One for Tom. Christine. Um, Who did I say? I said Brian. Amanda, who'd you say? Um... Who had the lowest score? MK. All right. Tom? I said Christine because I never vote for Christine. <laughs> Brian, who do you say? I believe I said Tom this time. Two for Tom, one for a few other people. Alec? Voted for Tomato Tomato. Three for Tom, and he has been voted out of the game. It's a moment of truth we have to know. Tom, were you the cheater? I was not the cheater. Not the cheater. 26, 25 stays in the bank. But when we come back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal, our five remaining players are going to make a go for immunity and our bank of $125. Be right back. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Five players left in the game, which means it is time for the round four immunity challenge. I'll give a question with multiple answers, and the last player left standing giving right ones wins immunity for the round. In addition, if you come up with five answers, you bank $10. 10 banks you 20, and 15 banks you 30. 18 will get you 50, but most importantly, 20 answers will break the bank at $125. It's been a long time since it's been won. And last player left standing, like I said, wins immunity for the round, cannot be voted off. We're going to start with MK, and your category is characters who appear or are named in Shakespeare's Hamlet. MK, you're first. Polonius. Polonius is correct. We're on the board. Brian. How about Hamlet? Yes. Damn, I was going to say that. Hey. <laughs> Big if true. We have two. Christine. Is Ophelia in this? 
Ophelia is in this. Yes, very good. Three. Alec. Horatio. Horatio, yep. That's four. Amanda. Udolfo. <laughs> Udolfo, no, sorry. They are not in Hamlet. We are down to four of you. MK. Uh, Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz is correct, and you have banked $10. Very good. Brian. I guess I'll be the one who says Gildenstern now. Yes, Gildenstern, also correct, also dead. Christine? Someone by the name of John. Someone by the name of John. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's listening. To be or not to be or post. to be John. No, John, believe it or not, is not on the board. Fair enough. Down to three. Alec. Francisco. Francisco is correct. Very good. MK. Does Yorick count? I said appear or our name, so Yorick does count. Yeah. Brian. How about Laertes? Laertes is right. Back to Alec. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. We have 10. It's $20. MK. Uh, I don't know her name, so I'm just going to say the queen. I do need a name. I don't have one. Nothing. All right. No. So we're down to Brian and Alex. See how far they can go with this. Brian? I believe you might have been thinking of Gertrude. Gertrude is correct. Alec? Can somebody hit me in my head one time? I can get a couple more. <laughs> Um, I don't. Uh, no, you got me, Brian. Nothing. Brian. Okay, Brian has won the immunity for the round. Very good, Brian. You can keep going. Only other one I've got is iffy for me because I'm thinking of the ghost. Yeah, the ghost is correct. That's twelve. You want to keep going, or you out? No, that's it. I'm out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Guard no number one. Said, no one Claudius. said Claudius. It's Claudius. The oh. villain of Hamlet. Um, <laughs> would the grave digger be counted? Yeah, grave digger would count. That's what they're listed as in the script. That's good for me. Cornelius, Voltiman, Osric, Marcellus, Barnardo. Uh -huh. I did, in fact, list Hamlet Sr. as a separate character because there's debate if he's the ghost or not. Uh, a priest, a gentleman, player king, player queen, Luciana slash the third player, a fourth player. Oh, Horton the Bronx. player king. Yep. Fort captains, sailors, or pirates, English ambassadors. So you got 12. You bank $20. And most importantly, Brian has won immunity. Okay. Woo! All right, players in the bank at the end of that round. 46.25. Brian has the immunity. He cannot be voted out. Anyone else can. So talk it out. Who do we think the cheater is? Brian. We can't vote for Brian. <laughs> then I'll vote for I'll vote for Amanda. <laughs> Alec comes first alphabetically. <laughs> MK has the shortest name. <laughs> I don't know how I many times better I've logic said, than this. I don't know how many times I said like one person's game the like one person's name the whole game and never vote for him. <laughs> well, let's see how long you can keep that thread up, huh? Maybe Alec because he can't vote for himself. Well, I'll vote for you, so you can just vote for me. <laughs> Actually, I had beef with MK a long time ago. I'll bring that back. Yeah. He just throws suspicions at I everyone just now. New questions. <laughs> we like trivia, <laughs> so we're all suspicious because we know trivia questions. Would anyone like to add anything before we vote? I hate Shakespeare. Okay, That's important. Not. I need the five of you to please <laughs> lock in the name of the player you think is the cheater, but you cannot vote for Brian. Go ahead and lock your votes in. 
time to see if we have finally found the cheater. And let's start with Brian, because he has immunity for the round. Brian, who'd you say? I voted for Christine. Okay. Alec, who'd you say? Brian, not Christine. Two for Christine. Christine, who'd you say? Alec. Okay. Amanda? I said Alec. Two Alec. Two Christine. MK, are we going to break this tie? Yep. I said Alec. Three <laughs> votes for Alec, and he is out of the game. Now is the moment of truth, Alec. We have to know. Alec, were you uh, the cheater? I was not. Whoa. He was not the cheater. He just knew Whoa. some obscure Hamlet characters, but not Claudius. We are down to four players. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Just four players left in the game. No cheaters have been found yet. But every player gets to give two answers for every question, so maybe they'll be able to find something out this round. We have 2312 sitting in the bank. Here comes the next question. Name the 10 best football movies of all time, according to a 2020 Rolling Stone article. 30 seconds, then we'll go to Brian for his first answer. Go. Rudy, and the women of the Titans. We are Marshall, Waterboy, Varsity Blues. The recruit. What's Any the given one? Sunday? What's the one that they redid? Friday Night Lights. Was that a movie? Was yeah. Movie? Right before the show? Or no? Is it a book? Uh, Time. Brian, you're mm -hmm. first. Um, the Longest Yard. The longest yard is number four. Yeah, two dollars. Christine, original or remake? Original. Original. Uh, Rudy. I was thinking the remake. Oh. No, whatever. Number one <laughs> is Rudy. I didn't put a year, so it's just it might just be both. Rudy, number one. Amanda. Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans is number five. Yeah, two fifty. MK. Mm -hmm. Uh, any given Sunday? Any given Sunday, number six. Back to Brian. They would put Oliver Stone on there. <laughs> He's uh, Oliver Stone, actually, Rolling Stone's brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about the program? The program? No. Sorry. Christine. Um... Varsity Blues. Varsity Blues. Oh no. No, it does not make the board. I mean, it's famous. Yeah. Amanda. Uh, too bad that we know 80 for Brady's not on here because the yeah. year. So <laughs> let's go with the recruitments. The recruitments. Uh, I think you mean the replacements, but the, the recruitments is not there. Recruitments you. is not there. MK. I meant the replacements. Thanks. Um, we are Marshall. We are Marshall is number eight. Yeah. The replacements also not there. Uh asked this question to a bunch of British people and they got bend it like Beckham, but nothing else. So <laughs> it's undefeated. Friday Night Lights. Brian's song. Undefeated. I don't know that one. Necessary Roughness. I think that's one of those films that I I'm was so <laughs> surprised Necessary Roughness is on there. Yeah. Scott Bakula. And the Waterboy. So much better than no one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I even said that one. I didn't think I would. I think most of these could be porn titles. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm not going to read the answers off on this one. It would give too much away. But name these languages by what they're called in their own language. Look at them. Discern your answers out. We're going to have 30 seconds to talk about it. And we'll go to Christine for her first answer. Go. Number one is Spanish, number two is German, number three is Pig Latin, number four is Swedish, number five is Danish, number six is um, Dutch. What about seven, eight, nine, and ten? Figure seven. it out on your own. Is <laughs> Magyar, is that Hungarian? Seven is Japanese, right? Or no? Uh... I don't know. It doesn't. I'm Christine. Well, you're first. Um, I'm going to go with 
Number five, Danish. Number five, Danish is right. Five dollars. I could also go for a Danish. Yeah, I could always go for a Danish. Yeah. All right, Amanda. Six Dutch. Six is not Dutch. I'm sad to say no. MK. I'm going to go with four is Swedish. Yeah, Swedish. Very good. Brian? Well, number 10 is, in fact, Hungarian. Yeah, very good. That's Hungarian. Christine? Uh, three is Pig Latin. Yes, Pig Latin. Amanda? I can't believe I didn't spot that. That's amazing. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I was like, I'm not going to read these off. Just, you know, do your best. Number five, Deutsch is German. Yeah, Deutsch is German. MK? Is number six Luxembourgish? Yeah, Luxembourgish. You can kind of tell from the way it's written. Very good. And Brian? I didn't know they had their own language. They do. Man. I think that number nine must be Russian. You would be right. Number nine is Russian. Very impressive, Brian. You got nine and ten. The MK also did say number 10. So two of you knew Hungarian. Number one, of course, Spanish. Number seven, Christine said it, then no one was confident enough to go with it. Japanese. You can kind of tell from the lettering here. Number eight is Kazakh. That... German and French. From the bank at the end of that round. 74-12. And if you find the cheater, you'll take that much into our final round. But if not, the cheater will join you in the final round. You'll have half of that. Oops. Take a look at your totals overall. Cheater's been going from the beginning. So talk it out. Who do we think the cheater is? Brian. Why Brian? Getting too cocky going for the high ones. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend I don't know languages. <laughs> That's fair too. Brian, would you like to accuse somebody? No, I'm good. <laughs> Does anyone want to add anything before we vote? Have been sent a cheater fact. I'm going to read this off. The cheater's favorite football movie is Man Getting Hit by Football from the 1995 Simpsons episode A Star is Burns. <laughs> Need the four of you to please lock in your votes. The vote has been cast. See if we have found the cheater. There are just four of you left. We're going to start with Brian. I voted for MK. One for MK. MK, who'd you say? I said Amanda. Okay. Now Christine, who'd you say? Brian. One Brian, one MK, one Amanda. Amanda, who'd you say? I did not vote for myself, but I did not make it a tie. I said MK. Two for MK, and she has been voted out of the game, perhaps knowing... Hungarian was especially that she didn't go for it. MK, we have to know. Moment of truth. Were you the cheater? I was not the cheater. Not the cheater. I'm sorry. 3706 stays in the bank, as does the original cheater. <laughs> we'll be right back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal for the final standoff for all that money. I Welcome totally back to the final round of Lie, Cheat, and Steal. We have Amanda, Brian, and Christine left in the game. One of them has been cheating from the beginning. But at the end of this round, if our two honest players find the cheater, they're taking home the whole bank, splitting it 50-50. If not, we do lose one more honest player, and it is up to the audience who are waiting in the wings to vote and make some money. So, Brian, Christine, Amanda, time for our final standoff. See how much more you can add to the bank. And then you're going to start accusing. You all have your rollovers left, so keep that in mind. Name the 10 most overrated U.S. tourist destinations, according to Lifehacker. 30 seconds to talk about it, then we'll go to Amanda for her first answer. Go. Anything that kids are going to think are bo is boring. Why how? San Antonio. Grand Canyon. Uh -huh. Yeah, Grand Canyon. Uh, Mount Rushmore. Rushmore. Um... The 
Golden Gate Bridge, is that overrated? Um, at Disney World, maybe? Time, okay. And Amanda, you're first. Uh, the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty is number one. Very good. 50 cents. Brian. Never been there. How about the Gateway Arch? Gateway Arch? No. They like that one, apparently. Christine. The Alamo. The Alamo? No. <laughs> it feels like a local uh, little misery for you. No, it's not there. <laughs> Amanda. Um, Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Number five, Mount Rushmore, 250. Brian. The White House. The White House. No, believe it or not, that is not overrated, according to them. And Christine. Niagara Falls. Very good. Number six, Niagara Falls, specifically, of course, the New York side, because we're talking America. Side, yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this this was a tougher one than I thought it would be. Some of these answers are a little bit obscure. But the, obviously, not the first ones. Plymouth Rock, which is just a rock. Disney World and Land. They said so, yeah. Times yeah. Square. Uh, is... Myrtle Beach. The Boston pastry debate, which I was not aware was a thing, but you have Mike's pastry and modern what? pastry, and apparently whoa, they're both whoa, overrated. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -oh. it's, it's Dirty weird. Myrtle is not overrated. Though. Ian, do you have thoughts about the Boston pastry debate? It's a pastry place. It's amazing. Santa Monica <laughs> Pier. Ah, oh, I, like I love Santa guy. Monica Pier. And Bourbon Street, New Orleans. Okay. Their their reasoning for most of these was there are better things to do in these locations, not South Dakota, but especially the, New Orleans. It was like Bourbon Street, where everyone goes, go somewhere else. The audacity, yeah, I of know. life hack. Final question of the night: Name the songwriting duos who wrote these songs. You have three for each. In my life, help Eleanor Rigby. My favorite thing: some enchanted evening, getting to know you. Satisfaction: you can't always get what you want. Honky tonk women. Candle in the Wind, Tiny Dancer, and Levon. Hound Dog, Yakety Yak, in Kansas City. The Look of Love, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, and I Say a Little Prayer. The Bare Necessities, It's a Small World, and Feed the Birds. Going Back, The Locomotion, and Will You Love Me Tomorrow. I Could Have Danced All Night, Almost Like Being in Love, and Wandering Star. Ain't No Mountain High Enough, I'm Every Woman, and Reach Out and Touch Somebody's Hand. 30 seconds, then we'll go to Brian for his first answer. Go. Last names are fine, by the way. Number nine is from My Fair Lady. Yeah. I should know the most. Okay, that, that's interesting. Brian, you're first. Great discussion. Yeah. Uh, number four would be, I think, Elton John and Bernie Taupin. That would be right. Yeah. John Taupin. Very good. Four dollars. Christine. Is number two Rodgers and Hammerstein? Yep. Rodgers and Hammerstein. Very good. Amanda. Number one is Lennon and McCartney. Yes. Number one is John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Back to Brian. Okay, I was going to guess Rogers Hammerstein for number nine. So instead, I'm going to try Gilbert and Sullivan. They wrote some famous uh, musical songs, but no, not Gilbert and Sullivan for number nine. Christine. Is number three um, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards? That's it. Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. Yep. Rolling Stones and Amanda. Number seven is the Sherman Brothers. Sure is. The Sherman Brothers heard a lot okay, of famous me, Disney songs. Let me, let me see it, if Tom. I can get a couple of these. Sure, sure. Uh, six, uh, um, Burt Bacharach and Hal David. Very good. And number nine, I believe that's a Lerner and Lowe mu musical. Lerner and Lowe, yeah. They wrote for uh, My Fair Lady, uh, whichever one the middle one is, and uh, Paint Your Wagon, yeah. Can I Anyone know number five? Is Can I guess Stan, five? 
I yeah, think it's okay. Elvis and Boots Randolph, maybe? No, no. Dang it. They, he, Boots Randolph played the saxophone and Elvis sang Hound Dog, but they were all written by Lieber and Stoller. Um, number, no, number 10 is Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. No, they sang one of them, but they didn't actually write them. Oh. Eight, anyone very famous writing duo of the 60s, uh, Goffin and King. And 10 is the Motown writers, Ashford and Simpson. Oh, shit, that's right. Brian, Christine, Amanda, in your final bank tonight, 60, 06, so that's 30 of three per person if the two honest players find the cheater. Here are your totals. You have the whole game to go off of. So, Ryan, Christine, Amanda, time to talk it out. Who do we think is the cheater? I thought it was Brian, but I'm leaning towards Amanda now. And I don't know why. It's just a feeling. It's a bad feeling. <laughs> it's okay. Amanda, what are you thinking? I think I know it's not me. <laughs> uh, Brian better not be lying to me this whole game. So well. Brian, how about you? I'm still not fully decided. <laughs> Probably should decide in the next few moments as you vote. This is the final vote for all three of you. If you find the cheater, you're going to make all that money. If not, it'll be up to our audience. So, Brian, Christine, Amanda, it is time to cast your final vote. Final vote has been cast. It's time to see if we have found the cheater. Their two honest players are taking home 60-06. It is time for the final standoff. Our votes have been cast. All the money is on the line. We're going to start with Brian. Brian, who do you think the cheater is? I voted for Amanda. One for Amanda. Christine? I stuck with my original thought and voted for Brian. One for Brian. And Amanda, who did you say? Anyways, hi, I said Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Brian says Amanda. Christine says Brian. Amanda <laughs> says Christine. You've lost half your money because in this most important stage of the game, you have a tie, which means the cheater gets to pick off the player of their choice right now. Who do they want to take into the finals with them? I need all three of you to send me the name of the player you want to send home. Cheater, only your vote counts. Cheater has cast their vote. Time to see who is not going into our final two and will be the final person joining our audience. There's not a time when you want to come do a tie, but you did, so the cheater gets to pick. I click on your name and it turns green. You're safe. On to our final two. It's red. You are out of the game. Brian, you are safe. You are on. Amanda, you are joining him. I'm sorry, Christine. That means you are eliminated from the game. The cheater has chosen you. You know you weren't the cheater, which means Brian and Amanda will be competing for the audience's vote. We have 30.03 on the line. One of them has fooled the team all game. You're going to have 15 seconds each to defend yourself, and then our audience is going to vote. Brian, you're first. Go. All I'm going to say is, Amanda, you really should have voted me off just then, because now I'm going to beat you. Amanda, 15 seconds. Go. That's all. Okay, that's all she's going to no say. No defense. So, pull up the leaderboard for the whole game. And I will have everyone in the audience vote. Everyone who gets it right, should the, the majority of the audience get it right, will split half of that bank. Otherwise, the cheater takes it all. Here's the totals for the whole game. Everyone, please vote for either Brian or Amanda, who you think the cheater is. Brian, Amanda, one of you has fooled everyone else all game, and it all comes down to this with 30.03 on the line. See if we can finally get the cheater out of the game or if the cheater's going to take home all the money. Before we reveal the votes, 
One of you is going to eliminate the vote of your choice because we have an even number, and that will be the player who scored more over the course of the game. Looking here. And that was Brian. So, Brian, who do you think may have voted for you? You can eliminate their vote. <laughs> I think I'm going to eliminate Christine's vote. All right, Christine, our most recently eliminated player. Now, Christine, if you are, in fact, right, you will still get money. The majority <laughs> of the audience gets it right, but your vote does not count towards the final total because we can't have an even number. No ties in the final round of Life Sheet and Steel. So we have nine players, nine votes. And it's time to see if we found the cheater once and for all. We're going to start with MK. Uh, I said Amanda. One for Amanda. Jared? I said Brian. Okay. Alec? Yeah, the cheater's Brian. To Brian. Beers? Well, I thought to myself, there's no way that Amanda was made the cheater right at the beginning, two weeks in a row. So I absolutely voted for Amanda because I'm always wrong about those things. <laughs> <laughs> so we're deadlocked at the moment, so I think it's a good time, finally, to reveal who the cheater was. Brian, Amanda, one of you has been cheating all game, but now we need to know. Who was it? Look at each other, square in the eyes. Say who it was. <laughs> you lied to each other the whole game, too. <laughs> you tell them. I was not the cheater. I was. Son of a gun. <laughs> it was Brian. Me. So if the majority of the audience gets it right, they're going to take home 1501. Amanda gets the other 1501. If not, Brian wins our whole bank. Mike, who'd you vote for? They were both quite suspicious. I'd say that if they were could both be cheaters, they would be as thick as thieves. So I picked uh, the first one alphabetically, Amanda. Three for Amanda. Brian might get away with this. CK? I thought it was, was suspicious when she mis <laughs> mispronounced the Disney character. So I voted for Amanda. Another one for Amanda. Damn. One more. And Brian has fooled everybody. Uh, Liz, who'd you say? I said Brian. <laughs> You got it right. Very good. This is a nail biter. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Ian, let's bite some nails. Who'd you vote for? Uh, I I don't know. I I don't know how many nails people have left. Uh, <laughs> so I guess I'll just end the suspense and say I voted for Amanda. You oh. did. I'm sorry. Thank Amanda you. is out of the game. Brian is our winner tonight. A perfect game on his part. He has fooled everyone from the beginning. He takes home 30 3 Very nicely done, Brian. That is not easy to do, especially with an honest player next to you on the same couch. Yes, <laughs> correct. Just for the sake of finality, Tom, who'd you say? I also said Amanda. You did. That is wow. six out of nine for Amanda. Brian, you only Thanks. got a couple of votes over the course of the game. Very impressive. The That's highest scoring person. To steal. And you still Peter managed to fool tonight. us all. Y'all, yeah, he answered he, the nine and ten questions in the same. He season. answered the nine and ten. He won immunity on Hamlet, <laughs> and he yeah, and he knew football movies and everything well, else. He actually but, knew them, but I mean, Amanda's reasoning about voting for all to the himself. first person alphabetically made so much sense. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't find the cheater. We'll see you next time on Live <laughs> Cheat and Steal. a truck that literally they had like so many University of Nebraska stickers and magnets and everything and then they had a University of Nebraska a Nebraska state plate and it just said corn as the vanity plate and I was like <laughs> you couldn't do like Husker or like something better than just corn That that's their degree they just hand them a corn. It's written on the silver. Well, they're, they're uh, yeah, their uh, university song is that country hit song, She's a Corn Star. <laughs> okay, no, a real a song? Star. I'm not kidding. It's a real song. Oh, what? No. How did I not know? Hey, now, yeah. she's a corn star. Get your game on. Go. <laughs> Not all that's yellow is corn.
<laughs> I don't think that's gonna catch on. The guy, with the, the guy with the vanity plates uh, sat there at the DMV not for, catch on. for two pop. hours going, okay, how about Husker? <laughs> okay, no, that's taken. How about this? How about that? And went through like 20 names and finally said just okay, corn. I'm tired. Let's go. <laughs> it was Maybe probably really like, short in Nebraska really like and do that. I don't know. But maybe they really got the life, you know? Can we at least spell corn with a K? <laughs> no, that's taken. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, the lyrics to Corn Star are in the chat. Can I read it as it's like beat poetry? <laughs> yes, please actually do. Okay. Well, she's not the kind of girl you meet on the corner of Hollywood and Vine, but you might bump into her on aisle 21 at the farmer's feed and supply. <laughs> with a bag of seed on her suntan, shoulder cut off jeans and a tight tank top with a John Deere mower on it. Make you wish you were riding on it. <laughs> this is horrible. This is a real <laughs> song, everybody. I just made a millionaire. God dang. Uh, no, you won't see her on the cover of Playboy magazine. Oh, she's too busy getting dirty in a field of green. <laughs> she's a corn star. Talk of the crop at every county fair. Corn star. Blue ribbon winner for the last five years. Is this a human or an animal? <laughs> Sounds like she's a cow, yeah. I know. <laughs> she's all ears. You know, she's but... kind of shaking. I don't know. They have like pies at the fair. Or I think I just oh, I, 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 I don't I think, think I just broke. Oh my god, call in. Corn in there. They cut her up. They cut the well, highway right through her pasture. Blamed it on progress and moving traffic faster. But everybody knows the only reason for the road was to see her. Jug a lugin on the top of that tractor. Wait, is he is he blaming her for the industrialization of America? That's crazy. Yes, it's this <laughs> woman. <laughs> She's a sounds like a force. euphemism. It See, sounds really like, bad. It's yeah, and he's a jug a lugin. So take that as what you want. <laughs> it's supposed to be porn, not porn. He spent too long walking behind her rose. porn star. Bean growers and bean loaders. What? <laughs> Keep going. Is there more? <laughs> no, there's a lot more. I don't... There is a lot. It's. You want me to keep going? Oh, please, yes. <laughs> it's very have a table read. You swear you'd seen her in a red bikini on a Baywatch episode, but I'm telling you straight that 600 acres is the only life she knows. There, <laughs> gossip in town, flying around. She was sunset stripping for tips in <laughs> L.A. What? what? I think that might be a typo. Sounds like a, he has her living in oh. an enclosure. She's not allowed to leave. Sounds like he has a bit of a Madonna corn complex. <laughs> I think it's like this is a sequel to you, maybe. Uh, but that's just a bunch of bean growers talking to bean loaders. What would they know about? She's a corn star. Talk of the crop at every county fair. Corn star. Blue ribbon winner for the last five years. They cut a four-lane highway right through her pasture, blamed it on progress, and moving traffic faster. But everybody knows the only reason for the road was to see her. Jug a luggin' on the top of that tractor. She's a corn star. She's Agriculture Monthly's reigning queen. Coast to coast, every country boy's dream. Woo! Does everyone feel enlightened now? So yes. is Husker magazine I, I like got, got Hustler but for farmers? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be lonely. Just <laughs> by Husker. <laughs> farmers only don't come. Wow. Sounds like sounds like there was a kernel of truth to that rap. <laughs> Colin, how did how did you know about this song? Oh, I know all that songs. When you when you mentioned a dramatic reading of Corn Star, part of me was thinking of uh, James Earl Jones or Denzel Washington in Fences, but speaking the lines from from Corn Star. <laughs> the deleted scene we all want to see. Paul, why don't you, Paul? Why don't you like me? They cut a four lane highway right through a pasture. <laughs> <laughs> 
What if that was the song and say Blamed anything? It on progress. <laughs> it's all the chords. <laughs> yeah, That's that amazing. or like big green tractor on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Well, but now I want to hear Peter Gabriel corn star. <laughs> you need to oh, no, I'm sorry. I got, I got some corn in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Is there someone on TikTok that does a good Peter Gabriel that we can make that suggestion? Yeah, all the all the kids love Peter Gabriel. <laughs> they do. Big sledgehammer guys, you know. Just get a, <laughs> just get a cameo of the real Peter Gabriel. <laughs> can't that afford that. That's seen Excuse it. me, it's, Peter Gabriel, nah. can you sing Craig Morgan's corn star? <laughs> Now, now I'm yeah. thinking of uh, Andrew Lincoln's. Yeah, I, I Andrew Lincoln's. Phil Collins crap, but let me do that. Sure thing. 